Sam and Jade move on to the next round. Vote for couple number three at the end of the show. And at this time, I'd like to draw your attention to our view screens for a sneak peek at who's coming out next. Now that Mike and Sonia are out of this competition, I think I just have to worry about that crafty net and that young buck too. Well, what can I say? Hips don't lie, baby. Judges scores, Mike Foster. Seven. Sir Victor Green. Eight. Cindy Patterson Rivard. Eight. For an overall score of 23. Thank you very much, judges. 23 guys, and now again, it's up to our studio audience, so what do you want to tell them? Both for us, guys. Their cha-cha was well received by the judges last month. It is now time to see if they can transfer those hip movements to the fluid stylings of Foxtrot. Will they be smooth enough to move on to the next round? Will they lift the coveted mirror ball trophy at the end of this competition? That is up to you, our audience, to decide. <laughs> Presenting couple number four, dancing a foxtrot, Please welcome Deborah Price and Alan Edmonds. Start spreading that news. I'm leaving today. Vagabond shoes are long into strain and step around that heart of it. New York, New York. I wanna wake up in a city that doesn't sleep. Let's hear it for Deborah Price and Alan Edmonds. Great job, phenomenal job, guys. All right, we're gonna go to our judges now for some commentary, and we're gonna start with Cindy. Cindy, your thoughts on that performance? Well, Deborah, um, maybe, There was a few spots there where the timing was a little bit off, but there was some very difficult footwork there, and I think that you really did a wonderful job with that. I'd really love to see you use your back to hold your arms up because you have a beautiful, beautiful frame. You work well together. It's just I feel that if you had a little bit stronger in use of the back to hold the arms up, you and Alan would have that better connection throughout the dance. Um, and, and have a little bit more fun because the Foxtrot is supposed to be a little bit more fun. That is a great song and uh, you looked very nervous. So, so loosen up because you did a wonderful job. I really enjoyed it. So let's see it on your face. I agree with Cindy. This is round two. Let's have some fun with it. Big smile. You got a wonderful smile. See, there it is. Big smile. Okay, Victor, your thoughts. Well, you know, Deborah, I haven't made a single note on my sheet of paper. Um, when, when you start off on a performance like that, it's understandable that, you know, during the first maybe 10 or 15 seconds, there's a bit of nerves, etc., and then you settle into your routine, which you should have practiced till, till you're sick of it, um, until you know it backwards. But it's almost as if you were 
like a, a, an eighth of a beat behind and you were watching him to see where he was going without knowing what your next step was. In, in other words, he was sort of overleading you. And um, I, I would say that what I did see of it, it was, it was quite elegant, but it was almost as if you didn't know your stuff, is what I would say. Um, uh, whether you forgot it, whether it's the nerves or whatever, I don't know. But it was elegant, but I think more confidence is required. And I've said it before, when you know, and you know you know, knowledge replaces fear. And I think more rehearsing until you know your stuff backwards. You know what, Victor? She's going to come back in round three and knock you out. Yeah. Isn't that right? Big smile, big frame, and it's going to be awesome. Mike Foster, your thoughts. Deborah, I like the dance. Ellen, you did a good job of leading her around. However, I agree with the other two about uh, the, the, the footwork was slightly offbeat. You look like you're nervous, and I know you're very nervous coming into this. When you come out here, you've only got a minute and a half to dance. This is your time to shine, to smile, to let loose, and throw a little flair into it. Uh, I saw it a little bit when you were coming over here at the end. You looked up and saw me looking at you, and you smiled. And if you'd have smiled like that through the whole song, I'd have given you a 10. So let loose next time. Have a little more fun. That's what dancing's all about. All right. Thank you, Mike. So have fun with it. Big smiles. And we're going to go backstage now with Carrie. Great job. The Better World Today Association would like to thank the following. Eternity Entertainment, Mary and Mac Graphic Design, the Italian Sub Shop. I'd also like to remind everybody to purchase their 50-50 tickets. They're $10 for a strip or three tickets for $5. And now we're going to go back into the audience with more reaction from the crowd with Tina Wells. Thank you, Glenn. Where are my lingerie is hot, ladies? Thank you for joining us, ladies. Tell us your names, please. I'm Jill. You're Jill. And if you'd stand over here. Claudine. Claudine. Angela. Angela. Nice job on the commercial. <laughs> so what brought you out here tonight? Well, to support a really good cause and to support our friend who's dancing. And who is your friend that's dancing? Sarah. And would that be your favorite so far? Yeah. Uh, yes, so far, Sarah. If you had the opportunity to get up there and dance, would you? In a second. <laughs> and how do you feel about the judges so far? Do you feel they're fair? Uh, I think they're pretty good, yes. Thank you, ladies. Enjoy the rest of the show. Glenn, back to you. Thank you, Tina. We're going to head backstage now with more from Carrie Brown. Carrie Brown, take it away. Thanks, Glenn. I'm backstage here with Deborah and Alan. Beautiful and elegant performance, you guys. Breath breathtaking. Deborah, I'd like to know, I'm very into dresses, and I have to know where you got your dress because it's stunning. Nordstrom's. Where did you get your dress? Well, I got my dress. It's your day bridal on Malden Road. Go see Sarah. She's amazing. <laughs> we can switch. There you go. And Alan, please tell us, now that you've, this is your second year here with us, what's different from last year to this year? You find it easier this time being on stage in front of the people? Yes, and I haven't had to spend as much time in the tunnel because Deborah lives close by to me. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay, let's find out the scores from the judges. The judges' scores are ready. Mike Foster. Eight. Cindy Patterson Rivard. Eight. Sir Victor Green. Six. For an overall score of 22. 22, you guys, that's okay, because it's out to our audience at the end of the show. Who should they vote for? <laughs> number four. There you have it. Back to you, Glenn. If you would like to see couple number four move on to the next round, please remember to vote for them at the end of the show. That is Deborah Price and Alan Edmonds, couple number four.